Welcome back. I'm going to be doing a cold start on my 1980 MK1 Volkswagen Rabbit. I last drove it in July. It's now mid-October. It's cold out, snowing today. I don't know if it's going to start or not, but we'll soon find out. Oh, dead battery. Both plugs aren't working. There it's working. Fuse box issue. Oh. I got her. The signal lights weren't working either, or the glow plugs. Now they're good. Got a cyclone and then we'll try it again. Oh man. <laughs> Let her warm up for a bit, and then I'm gonna take her home. Can't believe it fired up that quick. Eh? <laughs> I figured it would. It did. Even in cold temperatures. Cause it's a it's quality built. I'm the this <laughs> old <laughs> thing. It is. Rabbit in the garage. Fan good all the way in. Heater works. I'm going to uh, leave it in the garage for a few days and try to tinker on it. Get it cleaned up and checked over for winter and hopefully it's good. Just tinkering away on the rabbit here. I got a few things I want to do on it for winter because I'm going to be driving it in the winter. I want to check the air pressure and all the tires. I want to change the oil, change the fuel filter. I won't be doing this all today because I don't have any of those parts. I'll have to go to auto parts store and get a couple filters and whatnot. I do that tomorrow. But today I was just tinkering around. The heater also doesn't blow out on the floor, so I'm going to try to figure that out. And one other thing is, I probably don't really need it for winter, but uh, the cooling fans on this Volkswagen Rabbit do not kick in. And I don't know why. If anybody out there knows where to start looking or whatever, I'm just not familiar. It's kind of a weird system. The cooling fan itself runs when you put power to it. Or the sensor, or I don't know what it is. But if anybody knows out there, let me know. If not, I'm just going to put them on a toggle switch pretty soon. So I can just turn the cooling fans on when needed. But that's not ideal. If anybody knows for sure, feel free to let me know. There's the fuel filter that I want to change. It says it was last changed in October of 13, so that's three years ago. So it's definitely time for an oil change. This car doesn't use any oil. The engine doesn't use or consume a drop of oil. I change it. I drove it for about 5,500 kilometers, and the oil's still exactly where it was when I changed it. So the, the motor is decent that way. It does have smoky, diesel smoky exhaust when it's cold. I don't know if that's completely normal or what, but it does do that. I found a few things, booster cables, an old set of tire chains, and an alternator. <laughs> the Bach heater cord, I got that out today. I'm going to want to plug it in, of course, this winter. I've always wondered about setting the injection pump timing and all that, but some people say if it's not broke, don't fix it, so I guess I won't worry about it. Definitely open to opinions in regards to that. 